Hopefully it shows once again that these organizers picked a pretty good day to have oh, these yeah. events. I mean, seems like they didn't have to worry about any rain because that might be something that we see in the coming days. Yeah, we're going to see some wet weather, I think, especially early in the week. It is the time for football fairs, mm -hmm. festivals, all of these yeah. outdoor <laughs> events. So the pressure is on for sure. I do think there's a small chance that we'll get a passing shower tomorrow, but it should largely be dry for anything you plan to do outdoors tomorrow. In Greensboro today, we managed to get a little late day sun after seeing some morning clouds and a little bit of morning rain across the air, about a tenth of an inch in Greensboro. Now, here's our weather timeline as we work our way into the first part of the week. We've got variably cloudy skies tomorrow, that small chance for rain, higher rain chances Monday and Tuesday, and then isolated shower and thunderstorm chances for a large part of the week. Highs are in the low 80s out there today and currently in the upper 60s and low 70s across the area. Nice breeze still out of the east and north. East. It's not quite as strong, but that wind direction is going to stay out of the east and northeast, moving around the high and the low that are just to our east. So we're actually going to see the breezes likely pick up if that storm system develops off the coast and moves our way. We'll have stronger winds heading into Monday and Tuesday. Most of the rain has stayed well to our east today. There have been a couple sprinkles here and there, but not much and definitely not ruining any plans. I do think we'll have clouds overnight early tomorrow morning. We have a chance for at least a spotty light rain shower in the morning. It's a small chance. I do think we'll see a little bit more sunshine kind of peeking through as we go through the day. Again, small chance for a passing shower across the area in Sunday's forecast. It's breezy, high temperature up to 78 degrees in the triad. Those winds are out of the east and northeast at about 10 to 20 miles an hour. Also in the foothills with a high of 76, mixed skies and a small chance for a passing light rain shower. Mountains have that small rain chance and our high is up near 70 degrees tomorrow. So you look at the forecast winds out of the northeast on average at about 15 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon and then from Monday morning you can see stronger winds down toward the coastline and that is association with that low that likely is going to take a path inland into part of North and South Carolina as we go through time. So we haven't seen it form just yet but it's going to get a little more organized and and then work its way kind of north and west so that by Monday morning we could have some heavy rains down along the coastline and then by Monday afternoon getting a little bit closer over that I-95 corridor moving into our area Monday night and then potentially continuing for at least the early part of the day on Tuesday. We do think there could be a lot of rain in part of the Carolinas so the excessive rainfall outlook for eastern North Carolina in particular in that slight risk zone for us marginal risk. You look at the rainfall total several inches of rain could come with this weather system, especially down east. We could also see an inch or more in parts of the Piedmont Triad. National Hurricane Center is monitoring this developing area of low pressure too, as it could become tropical or subtropical. Tropical depression is possible in the next couple of days. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Gordon is well out over the Atlantic with 45 mile per hour winds. That one is forecast to stay away from land. Here's our seven day forecast. The temperatures are going to get a little bit warmer toward the end of the week, maybe with a little more sunshine, but we still have that chance for a shower or storm and our highest rain chances right now are with that low on Monday and Tuesday. All right, thanks Lainey. Up next, kicking childhood cancer. Coming up, how the Carolina Core soccer team honored a local boy fighting